we're hearing more and more about stem cell treatments. And this is actual footage of my ortho treatment from this weekend. So you can learn more about this exciting new science. I'll be posting videos of the cardiac treatment as well as future updates. So subscribe to my channel if you want to track this progress with me. I was the proverbial 98 pound freshman starting high school. I hit the iron and I graduated at a solid 175 pounds. Later I graduated at college at 185 pounds and 6% body fat. I had a hernia at 21 and I also had another repair at 46. I was strong as an ox in my youth, which was great, except the fact that the muscles were probably stronger than what the joints were really made to handle. So the joints have had continued pain and degradation and soreness over the years, despite adapting to more of a lower weight, high rep workout plan with a, a much stricter form. And obviously that makes it very difficult to work out and keep healthy if your joints are always hurting. This video was filmed at Anti-Aging and Regenerative Associates in Port Orange, Florida. And the treatment was given by a guy that I've known for at least 15 years, Dr. Jason Shuttle, and it's been really exciting to watch him build this business from the ground up over the last few years. Tell me what you're looking for. Any joints, any injuries that you want to address? Yeah, both knees and both shoulders have okay. given me a lot of grief lately. Like when I do squats anymore, mm -hmm. if I don't do at least 30, 40 reps of just the bar, they just hurt like hell okay. and going up from there. So the knees are just, you know, from the lifting over the years. Um, shoulders... Uh, you know, like even just to sleep on and mm -hmm. stuff, they get a little bit sore. So if there's anything we can do in, in more of the anterior region is where okay. it seems to be bugging me more. I'm going to mix stem cells with PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma. I'm going to draw, come over and draw more blood out of you. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we spin that blood oh, like down. blood doping. Your yeah. Centrifuge. yeah, so what you're doing is so when I pull the blood, it's red. Yeah. I put it in a special centrifuge spin it down so it splits the red, then you'll see the yellow. Mm -hmm. the, I get rid of the red, we don't use it. Oh. The red, the, the yellow what we have is what's called your platelet, it's basically those are your platelets. Okay. We spin that back down to get your platelet rich plasma, okay? okay. Platelet rich plasma are where all your growth factors are. Growth factors <laughs> such as tissue growth factor, platelet derived growth factor, and vas vascular endothelial growth factor, and that's going to create more blood supply. On the PRP, what we're going to be doing here is uh, drawing quite a bit of blood and yep. using almost none of it, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> except to get the PRP out of it. Right. So, which is the plasma the rich plasma. plasma. Yeah. Straight as you can keep that arm for yep. a sec. This, I gotta get this blood out of you. Okay. Okay. One, two. I put five cc's of an anticoagulant, which is called sodium citrate, so the blood doesn't clot while I'm pulling all this up. <laughs> Good. One, two, three, and out. Hold pressure for me. Okay. Okay. So that's what we'll shoot in the joints. Okay. Mix a little bit of the stem cell, put as much as I can in each joint. So that's going to be from an orthopedic perspective. <laughs> just relax your leg. It's not yeah, it's like that. So. Is that a topical or just a sanitizer? Oh, that's just sanitizer, sanitizer chlorhexidine. Oh, okay. This is your numbing agent. That's why I just use a simple numbing agent. Okay. It'll, it'll, it colds the skin. So, ready? One, two, three, cold. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Way cold. Real cold. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. One, two. You're good. Oh, gosh. Five, Should I be relaxing? Four. Just chill. Relax. We're done. And that's it. We're done. Okay. done with that one. You okay. Got a little deeper than I thought it would. That's gotta get in the joint. Yeah, you gotta get, yeah, the, you joint. Gotta get in the joint. I agree. No ibuprofen. No ice. Aspirin. Um, no aspirin. Tylenol you can take. Tylenol. For right now. Okay. For right now. For the next. Better. For the next forty-eight hours. I don't want anything to be done to decrease the inflammatory process. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Just relax yeah. for me. One, two, good.
So you can feel that's your scapula. Yep. This is what we call the spine of the scapula. Okay. Then it runs right into the acromion, which is here. Okay. So I'm here. Once I find that, I find this here. I go th three fingers down. Then I make my, that's my dum-dum mark. Okay. Nowhere to go. I take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. And here we go. Good. You don't have to do anything. I either can go here or go here, but the needle's gonna end up in the same spot. The reason okay. I don't go here, I can, is there's a lot of anatomy right here, a lot of real estate. There's easy your okay. subclavian vein, there's your brachial plexus, which controls blood supply and nerve oh, supply to okay. everything down. If I come here, there's nothing. I'm just getting in the joint. Three, good, for everything in your life. Yeah, that's true. But later on, we'll see how all this goes, then I'll write you a prescription. You'll do that at home as more an injection throughout the body. And then what you do is like 20 days on, you just do it as a little subcutaneous, like an insulin oh, okay. needle injection, and then okay. 20 days on. Well, this is a regenerative st standpoint. So usually I tell people 30, 60, 90. You know, the first 30 days, what do we have going on? You know, some people do really well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's up and down. It's, you know, it's, I don't feel a lot better. It's 90 days. It's 90 days. So that's what we'll do. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and learned something about stem cells. And subscribe to my channel if you want to continue to track progress with me over the next few months.